Look how beautiful this place is. It's great. The weather is great. The sunshine is great. It's beautiful. I can't believe it's almost 7 and the sun's still up. Like, that's probably 30, 30 to 40 more minutes of sunlight. It'll be close to 7.30 or past 7.30 when the sun sets. So we're walking on over to Epcot. Yeah. Our plan is Epcot. Back to the car. And then we're gonna go on a run. We're gonna go on a run around Crescent Lake. Because so confession, haven't been running. But gotta get back on it. I have a 5K Thursday. I want I might do a half marathon in the end of May. And dopey registration is soon. Soon, like this week for early registration, next week for open to the public. Literally, it is spring break is over, <laughs> Easter vacation's oh over, park is quiet. Yeah. It is beautiful out. There's nobody nice. here. That line a week ago, two weeks ago, was wrapped, wrapped all around. Super long. But we're going to get Beverly. We're going to get our new spring magnets because they came out today, I think, or yesterday. Whatever the ninth was. Today. Today. So they came out today, the Minnie Mouse ones. Super exciting. And then we're going to get popcorn. They have chive, sour cream. Sour cream and chive. Yeah. And we also have a fast pass for Soren. This looks like the cool part about a Flower and Garden Festival is that like the flowers grow and like this looks different than it did. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, it looks bigger. It looks, yeah, it's like fluffier. Right in there, you can even see that the line's super short, even the first day to get your Minnie Mouse annual pass. So cute. So the, now these ones have like no flowers, but it's the it's a purple polka dot pass holder. I love the mini with the original style classic. hat there, classic yeah. hat. I wish she had pie eyes with that hat, but <laughs> She's still really cute. that's just getting picky. Yeah. Now I think we're going to do like a weird thing. We're going to get our bellies cleansed with Beverly, get that popcorn, and then go on Soren. Yes. Nice. Three down. I'm ready for my Epcot day to start. Wait, what did you just do, Beverly? No. Did you, um, oh, did you get grease? Oh, yeah. look, it's right next to it. I for sure thought she got Beverly. Oh no. Oh no, the wind, first of all. And second of all, I couldn't see his cast members from over there. And it looked like it was closed. And I'm not sold yet that it's not. But it's $1.75 for refills. And there's the Hi, are you closed? Are we are. We are you closed? Yeah, we are. Sorry. Oh no. Well, with new experiences comes new information. The popcorn, like the gourmet popcorn that we were like basically bought this popcorn bucket for. Gourmet. That's what it says. Um, their hours are from 10:30 to 7. Pinky up. So, had we come right here. So, I gotta carry around this bucket. <laughs> we can get normal popcorn if we so choose, but they offer sour cream chive, buffalo blue cheese, and cheddar cheese. And Alexis said the sour cream and chive's the best, but they're out of it right now because the shipment of seasoning that Disney got arrived expired. expired. Um, well, we're learning. We're learning, you're learning, we're all learning. Should we do popcorn first, then Soren? Or since we're right here, should we do Soren? Let's just do Soren. I'm okay with that. Awesome ride. First of all, Jill, don't know what happened there, but my 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 Disney experience only showed fast passes for Jill and James at seven when I thought we were so all we coming. And like, Sorry. So yeah, we bumped just thinking like, oh, we were supposed to come with Jill and James. They they couldn't come. For, they had stuff to pop up, but we went to go bump. We're like, oh, let's go. And they're like, oh, you don't have any. We're like, what? Jill, what's going on? But it was a great ride. And I, when no one really worked out, it was only 15 minutes yeah, away. That's how slow does it have got. It's 8 o'clock. It was like 7.45 when we got in line. 7.40. 15 minutes away for Soren. That's how empty. Look how empty it is. 
Everybody went home yesterday. So we're running to World Showcase. Camry battery died, so I don't remember what I was saying. Sarah's taking a photo. We're gonna go enjoy World Showcase with hopefully no crowds. And uh, oh, I actually like looked over in the middle of Soren. We were in this middle section and like saw all the gadgets and gizmos of how the ride works. It was super cool. I saw like the weights and counterweights. Super cool. Please let me know if anybody has an experience with this brand. They have shoes that are being sold over there. They're like waterproof gym shoes and Sarah's had a pair of boots over there, like galoshes. They were reasonably priced and I secretly want to like just shop all my clothes in here. More specifically, those sweaters or jumpers. One day Sarah and I are going to walk in and we're going to buy. I'm going to buy this one for myself and that one for Sarah. And that right there will cost us $900. <laughs> It'll happen, right? Yeah. Just be patient and work hard. So Sarah really wanted to come into this little shop outside of China, and I know that these were in uh, recently added to Character Warehouse, but look at here in Epcot, you got all the grand opening, limited release grand opening of um, Disney Shanghai Resort, which is crazy. We could link up above to our video that we made. Um, our good friends Ali and Scott actually went the opening year to Shanghai and got us like a can of Pepsi, but it came in a can inside a box, a really nice box. Some key, we got a key, we got a bunch of stuff from them. They're super sweet, including napkins and maps because, and footage, because they know that we love napkins and all those collectibles. But look at that, I like that too. Wait for it, I like that too. over the weekend that Japan has the best air conditioning in Disney World. I think it does. <laughs> Comment below if you think that there's a better place. And let us know if you think we should. Oh, I know, I know, I know. The pathway walking to the loading dock of Splash Mountain. That's some good air conditioning. Not better than Japan. You're talking a, a 15 foot of tube for a whole store. I know, but it's such a good blast. Um, let us know where we see for Sarah's birthday. I said brunch to contemporary. I also said tapanetto. Sarah says Taco Bell. No, I did not. I said Tony's in Mitch Kingdom. I know, I know, I know, I know. There's like four options and it's like just your standard stuff, but it's nostalgic. Brunch, brunch, brunch. We didn't even cheers our Morocco water. Classic. On camera. It's funny, it's like we need it for because we're going to go on a run at the boardwalk. But it's not even hot out. It is kind of hot out. It keeps going up and down. Confession, we match. First, literally, even with the shamrocks, we didn't plan that. And blue shorts. How did um, we not notice? My confession, I haven't run in like three weeks. And I haven't run in longer than that. But here's what the deal is. I got a 5K on Thursday in downtown Orlando. I'm probably gonna do a half marathon in the end of May. And sometime this week or next week, I have to register for the outrageously expensive Dopey Challenge. It's like $600. Yeah. So, I gotta do it. Yeah, and I want, and you guys have been giving me great compliments about me looking skinnier, which I love. Thank you. And I got to make sure that stays going in that direction right. because it's we super easy for me to eat lots of food and not work out. And voodoo donuts. And, voodoo donuts. And we have a documentation of every single day, so we can tell if like it's coming back 
So we're gonna go on this run. Wish us luck. Peter might go longer than me, but we'll see. I'm thinking about a 5K. So I just think I'm like a... a 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> all right, we're all stretched out. I'm getting our music ready. For anybody. Just a classic ham or classic uh, greatest showman to get you in the running mood. And uh, I guess it's time to start. Okay. Wish us luck. So guys, I looked it up on my running app. I ran March 17th was the last time. Gotta be transparent for you guys. <laughs> it was a bad three three weeks and two days, but we're That's, back. I can't do that again, kind of thing. Yeah. Which is good though. I like that. I'll, I'll, right. I'll get back. I'm hopefully gonna get up tomorrow morning and run. Ran a complete 5k without stopping under a 10 minute mile. Woohoo! I did. What did I do? I did, did half of that. Yeah. Not stopping. And I haven't ran in a long time. Yes. I'm gonna attempt to do a victory cartwheel for you because I gotta keep doing the cartwheels. <laughs> Sorry if you get sick of them, but just little snippets of the vlog because I gotta keep them going. Yeah. I'm gonna get better. Yep. <laughs> Good job. Still a little crazy. But <laughs> it was just the landing was a little. It's the best I can do right now. I'm yeah. lightheaded. I need water. <laughs> I realized that I had almost no water today and I had about seven cups of coffee. I'm feeling it, guys. That was a little warm. The temperature has changed like a lot since the last time I ran. And like, the air. Like... That, that's the thing. Is like the air was so muggy that like there was no relief. Like before, when I was like just three weeks ago when I was running. There'd be, every couple minutes, there'd be a nice breeze that would be like cool and refreshing. But that was just, it's like running through fog. But I gotta get used to it because... Yeah, it's nice and breezy by the lake. Yeah, so we're cooling off for a few minutes and we'll go home and get ourselves together and play with Eve. Okay, I fell asleep on the ground playing with Eve. Um, so we're going to bed. Yeah, and we're planning on working out in the morning too, so. It's idea, and I have to be at work a little early. I'm doing like a training. I'll, it's an interesting thing. It's about like learning about how you are as a leader, but also like your but genetics you or breakfast. something. Yeah, so I gotta be there a little early. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. And we might have plans with Katie tomorrow. We gotta touch base. Yeah. It's supposed to be rainy all afternoon though. Oh, really? Yeah. It's all right. It's, it's good, good, to, good be to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.